Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right, in this video, we're gonna do a brief overview of Metro by T-Mobile. Just a couple of things I wanna talk about. This video won't be very long, but it will be hopefully informative for you, whether you're a current customer or a potential new customer looking to sign up for Metro by T-Mobile. So what do I wanna talk about here? As we can see in front of me, we have some plans. Uh, the most important plan that I wanna talk about is the one line unlimited 5G $25 per month plan. This is by far the best Metro by T-Mobile plan you can get your hands on. I've had this plan for a few years. I'm sure many of you listening to this have either had this plan already or still have this plan. And I'm sure you can vouch for me when I say that this is a great plan by Metro by T-Mobile. It is probably one of the best ways, if not the best way to use T-Mobile's network and not pay a lot of money and get some great value. And what do I mean by great value? I mean, you get unlimited data. Now, Metro by T-Mobile says you may experience slower speeds when their network is congested. So you get 35 gigabytes of premium data, and then you're supposed to be slowed down. But I can tell you based on my experience and from what I've heard from other creators who use the service, speed test out in the field, they can also tell you that you will not really notice any slowdown at all. Meaning that even when you surpass your 35 gigabytes of premium data, the network is still by far very usable. You can still stream, whether it's movies, music, uh, YouTube, gaming, doesn't really matter. You're not really going to feel the effect of being throttled at all. Now, if you run a speed test uh, for Metro by T-Mobile and say maybe T-Mobile Pulse Paid and you've already used say 75 gigabytes of premium data or, or of data, uh, you know, and you do the test between T-Mobile's Pulse Paid, you might see that, you know, your T-Mobile Pulse Paid gets a little bit ahead. You might get a little more priority on that network. Maybe you see 25 to 40 megabytes per second more testing Pulse Paid versus Metro by T-Mobile. But that's it. It will still be Fully functional, meaning that if you're in a good service area with uh, with T-Mobile in general, you're probably going to see at least 300 megabytes per second up. And that's after using your premium and going at even as much as 75 to over 100 megabytes per second. The results will still more than likely be the same for you as long as, of course, you're in a good T-Mobile service area. So with this $25 plan, it's $30, $30 for your first month. Then it will be $25 per month after with auto pay. So don't forget to turn on your auto pay to get that discount. The plan includes unlimited 5G, Scam Shield, VIX Premium on us, and T Mobile Tuesdays, which is now the T Life app. So I'm not sure why they don't just change that there, call it the T Life app, because that's what it is now. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about this. The first way is you can bring your phone into a store. Uh, what you'll have to do is bring your phone and number. So you need to have an existing phone and you port your number over to Metro by T-Mobile. Now, this is if you want a physical SIM. If you do not want a physical SIM and you have an eSIM compatible phone, you can choose online. So you'll bring your eSIM compatible phone, whether it's an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy or a Pixel, those phones you usually all have an eSIM, they should and uh, you're good to go. You can just check out, enter in your information, you pay zero activation fees, and you're good to go. So one thing I like that the FCC has enforced is the broadband facts. I've talked about this in a couple of videos. Wireless carriers and, and internet providers are now forced to disclose consumer information about you know, what is actually in the terms, what are you getting for your money, what is the total price, etc. This way there's no like, you know, a little small fine print that many customers overlook and then they get hit with all these fees and they're not getting the speeds they expect and they're just disappointed. So in this case, we're seeing now clear exactly what this is. Now, this plan was a part of the ACP program, which the ACP program has been put on halt. But if it does return for whatever reason, you'll be able to take even further advantage and get even more discounts with this plan. So what we want to look at is the speeds provided with plan. Now remember, these are typical speeds. These are not guaranteed. Your speeds may vary. You may get lower speeds if you're in a bad T-Mobile service area or not great T-Mobile service area. 
if you're in a excellent or great T-Mobile service area, you're going to see better speeds than what's advertised here. I can guarantee it. All right, so typical download speeds are between 79 to 357 megabytes per second on their 5G network. Typical upload speeds are between 6 and 30 megabytes per second on their 5G network. Typical latency is between 17 to 32 milliseconds. Now I can tell you in my home, my speeds range typically between 79 to 357 on the typical download. My upload is usually trash, I gotta be honest, so it does fall within this range here, six to 30 megabytes per second. We know that that's not really great uh, upload speeds for most of us that care about these things, that's not good at all. But that is typical, they're saying, I'll tell you this, when I step two blocks away out of the house, uh, network picks up and I get much better upload speeds, over 100, and my download speeds are more than likely five and plus. And that's, you know, that's just typical. Most of the time, if, I, if I'm if i in a really good T-Mobile service area, I can get about 800 or close to it. And that's on Metro by T-Mobile. So it doesn't matter if it's T-Mobile Postpaid or Metro by T-Mobile. There's no difference. Not really. That's what I'm telling you. That's what makes this plan even more valuable is that you almost feel like you're on a postpaid plan minus you know, hotspot and maybe some additional streaming services. So if you're not a customer that cares about that, whether you're on the plan now or you're potentially looking to sign up to this type of plan, if you don't care about having the best streaming perks, you don't care about, you know, Amazon Prime, you don't care about, you know, HBO or any of that stuff, whatever it is that you're interested in, um, music streaming services. If you have that somewhere else, you just want good T-Mobile service, and you want it unlimited and you want to be able to get it at a great value, this is the best plan for you. I guarantee you. It, that's my opinion. Okay. There's no fact in this. I can't prove that it's the best plan, but I can tell you most customers are satisfied with this plan because it's a great value. It's so cheap. How could you not really like it? And like I said, it's it's good. You're not you're not feeling the ding when they are supposed to slow you down. You just don't really feel that. All right. Also, another thing is, if you value this type of thing, they do offer a uh, caller ID with this plan. So this is a $25 plan. So if you're someone that cares about this type of thing, like I like it, if you call someone, maybe a doctor or maybe your job or maybe a family member that actually pays attention to who calls before they pick up the phone, maybe they have only a landline. We still know people like that. I'm sure many of you have people in your family or, you know, a friend or a relative or something that does have a landline and you call that number, they look to see who's calling, you'll have your name attached to your number. And that's pretty cool because there's no additional charge. Not even Visible is offering that. So this almost feels like a post-pay plan is what I'm saying. $25 a month, you really can't beat it. They do have the uh, one-line five-gigabyte data plan for $30 if you want to get a new number. But my advice is if you're looking to switch your carrier and you want good T-Mobile service, why not try out Metro by T-Mobile? If you have an additional number, parked maybe at Google Voice or wherever it is, maybe you wanna bring that number over, you know? It's just sitting there, right? You can get this service, $25 a month, and um, you know, you gotta bring your phone, unfortunately. If you wanna take advantage of the new phones, I do wanna show you that real quick, and then we'll uh, wrap this up. They have some good deals, all right? This Moto G Stylus 5G 2024, Metro by T-Mobile, as far as I know, has the best deal on this right now. It's with a new number, it's $29.99. If you bring your number, it's zero, it's free. Now, the one caveat with the Metro Flex plans, which has been the disappointment here, um, which is why I'm really glad that they're advertising the $25 plan again, because we were kind of feeling like Metro is not really on our side anymore. They're getting expensive. They're doing things that are not in our favor, right? But them bringing back that plan and advertising it, keep in mind, this is advertised on their website, on their homepage, towards the bottom of the page. It is there, all right? So they're not really, you know, they're not trying to hide it. They want you to see it because they want new customers to sign up. So I like that. So anyway, the one caveat is that you do have to sign up for the Metro Flex Plus plan in order to get the phone. That's with any of their phones now. 
It used to be you could sign up for the $40 plan, which was their cheapest plan. Now it's $50. You could sign up for that plan after a month when your you know plan is due, when your payment is due, contact customer support, ask them to switch you to the $25 plan, and that was it. You now be on that $25 plan and you keep the phone. Now you have to pay for the Metro Flex Plus plan, which is $70, but when your payment is due, you can still call them and ask them to downgrade you uh, to the $25 plan. Now, the idea here is if you do it online yourself, you try to downgrade to the cheaper plan, there's going to be a downgrading fee. I think it says here, it says somewhere, uh, there's like a fee of like $30 or something like that for you to do that. So if you call support, they'll knock you down for free. If they do it, it's free. No fee to downgrade to that $25 plan. So you look at it like this. You get a brand new phone and you get the $25 plan. I mean, that's a great deal, right? I mean, how can you beat that? So anyway, one more phone I want to show you. The uh, Edge 2024, which is probably the best Motorola phone out right now. Not, not this particular model, but the Edge series is Motorola's best seller right now. And then there's the Razer, you know, which is either about the same level or maybe a little bit lower now because the Edge is where it's at. It's a big phone. It's bright. It's vibrant. And it's powerful. Packs a punch. A lot of people like the Edge phones. So 256 gigabytes of data. And this phone with a new number is only $99.99 or free if you bring your number. So again, you got to get the Metro Flex Plus plan. So a little annoying that you have to pay a little bit more money. It's $30 more than you would have had to pay maybe four months ago now, three months ago now. But it is what it is. Everything's going up. Still a good value. You get the phone, rock the plan for a month, call customer support, have them bring you down to the $25 plan, and then you can keep your phone. And uh, that's it. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.